Here we have a PlayStation board that was mailed over to us with a ripped power connector. Let's take a look. I've done a couple of videos on this very same issue, but every time I tend to do things different. And let's see how we're going to do it this time. So it looks like we have one pad ripped off and we have the two supporting pads on the left and right also ripped off. And that's the connector right here and you can see that ripped pad is on the pin here. And that's the connector. The red pad is still stuck on the pin here. Now, now usually what we do is we solder a wire here and then we solder that connector onto the pins. This pin goes here. This pin will solder onto the wire that is soldered on to this pad. Third and fourth one, but we can no longer solder the left and right supporting pads. So that will work. You can plug the cable in, the connector, and you close the PlayStation, no harm done. The cable is going to stay connected forever, as long as nobody tampers with the cable. I mean, the PlayStation is closed, so nobody's going to tamper with that cable, and the job is done. But what if we can also solder the supporting pads on the left and right? But how would we do that? They are missing. What we can do is we can grind this area here, which is the same as this, and we can create a pad here, because under this solder mask here, you have copper, and it's the same copper that was ripped off from here. We can grind a pad here, one here, and then we can grind this further, up to here, up to here, up to here, up to here, and now we can shift the connector a bit down. We can shift it like this. Now we can solder this pin to the grinded mask that we have here, one here, 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 and also since we grinded this area, we can solder the supporting pad or the supporting pin onto the grinded pad. That would be the most solid solution. Otherwise, we can just solder a wire, solder all four pins, and the job is done. We do not have to solder the supporting pads, or we can even add hot glue to the supporting pads, and the job is done. Since I've done that before, let's go ahead and grind and do it the other way. We're going to be using the grinding pen. And I have the big tip here, a best seller on our e-commerce site. Right now I have the speed on high. That should be enough. And that should be enough. I want to grind some on the left so we can see solder. Just like that. And let's also grind here. And that's it. That's enough. That grinding pen is amazing. I use it every single day. This is not a Dremel. A Dremel is much more powerful. But this one is powerful enough for circuit board repairs. I do not want a very powerful grinding tool for the board. Fume extractor on. We're going to pre-apply solder onto the pads. And we are on our way to a very solid connector. better than factory connector, even though it doesn't look like factory, but it's going to be more solid than the factory. Just making sure no pads exist here.
you see just like that now we can solder all four pins and also the supporting legs or supporting pads on the left and right and the reason I left some space on the left and right is so that we can see solder I will point my soldering iron here to the solder and solder will melt and that connector will push down that's the reason I left some copper or some space on the left and right let's do the first one we're gonna apply heat right over here and we're gonna push down on the connector and the connector is soldered on one end you see now we're gonna push down on the other end push down we're gonna apply heat right over here and better than factory connection just look at that connection you need a bulldozer to remove it let's go over this one one more time and just look at this and now the pins are a bit crooked but that's not a problem because we can shift those pins left and right and let's do our magic and right now we have a super solid connection let's check pin number one look at this I'm putting a lot of pressure pin number two pin number three and pin number four the connector is secured from the left and right and the job is done all we have to do is clean up and we're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer customer mailed over the cable also which is this one here and I can fit the cable and take the cable out without having to worry that the connector is going to break so let's put the connector in and we're good all right that's it the job is done i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video